بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا کریم وعلی آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی loves the believers and that illustrates for us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that he possesses the attribute of love tabarak wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who are patient inna allaha maa sabirin very the law is with those who are patient Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those people who are humble who are uh, who are have uh, the attribute of humility that they don't walk the earth in pride and arrogance and stupidity and so those are just some of the characteristics of a believer that they are humble they're patient that they love one another and they that they cooperate in righteousness and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem alladheena yamshoon ala al-ardi honan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about those people, people of righteousness, a character, one of the sifat of the believers. He subhanahu wa ta'ala said, those who walk on the earth in humility. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those people who are humble. And humility is one of the most important attributes of the believer. Because it's the opposite of being arrogant. A person who's arrogant, they cannot seek knowledge properly. A person who's arrogant cannot correct themselves because they're not open to advice. As we see in certain cases where we have certain du'at and even certain people who are scholars of the, uh, of the religion who will not accept advice from their cohorts and from their colleagues but they stay on a, a mistake that they're on or many mistakes and bida and from that it's primarily due to arrogance which is the opposite of the characteristic of humility that the believer possesses Allah mentions that the people who are arrogant are from the most are from the lowest of people that arrogance because arrogance even arrogance is a characteristic of people who disbelieve some people they disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only due to arrogance look at the Quraysh look at the uh, during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam the pagan Arabs how they refused the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam who was receiving wahi from Allah tabarak wa ta'ala but they refused out of arrogance instead they decided to worship their desires and continue worshiping their false gods primarily due to arrogance they committed shirk so arrogance that characteristic of kufr can take one out of the fold of Islam or prohibit one from embracing Islam وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ the arrogant ones are the most lowly and despicable people on the day of judgment. And Allah will see it that they are they will see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will see to it they are under the feet of the people. And the one who has a grain of pride in him will not enter paradise. The Prophet said, Whoever humbles himself to Allah, then Allah raises him. So if you want to be raised in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you want to be raised in this dunya, you want to gain, improve your status, you want to improve your, uh, improve yourself, humble yourself before Allah, adhere to the commandments of Allah, worship Allah alone and avoid those things which Allah hates and don't be arrogant. If someone wants to advise you, accept the advice. If someone wants to restrain you from evil, accept that. Accept it and embrace that and be thankful that they helped you to be a better slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remove yourself from the evil that you were upon. 
That's the characteristic of a believer. That's what makes the believer strong. And those are the characteristics that we want to possess. Possess that humility, being humble. In fact, humility and humbleness can help us in so many ways. It can help us practice our Islam. It can help us safeguard our, safeguard, safeguard our own honor and the honor of others. Why? Because if a person is humble, does, do, do really humble people have time to speak uh, about others? Most of the ulama that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored me with to, to see in my lifetime, the real humble ones, I've, I've seen some that were, you know, everyone's level is different. But the most humble ones, and especially those major scholars, Imams like Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al wadi although he spoke about Ahl Bidah, and sometimes he spoke very shadeed about them. But I honestly believe it was strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You didn't see kibr from that man. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him with Jannah to Firdaus Ameen. And great Imams. The Imams that passed before us, many of the Imams I didn't have a chance to see, like Imam bin Baz, Imam al Albani. Imam bin Uthaymeen, Rahimahumullah, Jami'an. Those great ulama of Ahl Sunnah. You see it in their books. They spoke about Ahl Bidah and they spoke about the people of innovation and they did it with justice. And they were humble. They were known for their humbleness. And many of the scholars that, are, that we've seen, Imam al muhaddid Sheikh Abdul Masin al Abad, Rahim. Hafizullahu Ta'ala. This is what we see from that great Imam, Imam of the Sunnah, who's still teaching in the Haram and spreading Khair. We, we don't see them encircled in, 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 in with fitna and causing fitna and spreading fitna in, throughout the world. Why? Because of their humbleness. Because they don't busy themselves with that. They busy themselves with teaching and raising the people. If you raise the people, Ahl Bidah will be humiliated because they'll have no majal, they'll have no place. But if you spend all of your time speaking about even your own brothers who resemble you, who are on the same madhab as you, belittling them, disgracing them, this is not a characteristic of humility. Humility should force you away from that characteristic. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.